Hello, Matthew Taminer from LearnJumLaFast.com. In this video, I want to do a demo slash review and comparison uh, with the Helix Ultimate. This is the alpha version. So you have the Helix 3, which is the stable version now, and then you have the, the Ultimate, which is going to uh, be really soon. So this is a, a framework that you can utilize to create you know, websites with, with Joomla. It's another framework, and it looks really, really good. So I want to kind of show you and give my thoughts and feedbacks about it. Uh, so you can download a, the alpha version of it um, here on their site. So it utilizes Bootstrap uh, 4, which is really great. A new admin, new menu, layout builder, uh, simple media manager, and some pre presets, SVG logo. So we're going to go through some of those. I want to kind of show you um, how to get things up and going so you can test it out. And by the way, I want to say that, you know, this is a uh, alpha version. So this is not to be used on a production site. You don't want to put down your live site yet. There's still some things they're working out. So that's why it's a alpha version of it. The stable version of it, I believe, is going to be released uh, coming out soon, January 25th. So that's coming up uh, in about 10 days or so. So let's go back now on the back end, and we're going to install it. Now, the way that you install this template is just like with any other um, Joomla extension from the extension manager. So I'm going to install this. So that's been successful install. So now you go over to extensions, and you want to go over to templates. And you notice here that you have the ultimate template, and by default right now, the Helix 3. So we're going to take a look at the Helix 3, and we are going to take a look at... Uh, the ultimate to see some of the changes that's been implemented with the new uh, template and the framework system. So let's take a look first at the Helix 3, which you have the presets, the layouts, and the menu, the top topography, and the assignments and blog. So when you come here, you can pretty much go to each menu and customize it how you want it to be. But with the Helix Ultimate, that's, that's changed. So let's open up the Helix Ultimate. And when you first open it, you notice you get the, you don't have the options like the Helix 3 where you can go through each menu right on the back end. Uh, you have this template options. So this is really meant to be more like a front end type of thing where you as you're editing it, it gives you a good look and feel. So you want to click on template options. So when you're in template options, this is what it looks like. You have the basic, you have the preloader. You can set to enable it, and you can choose the type of preloader that you want for this. You want a circle. What pretty much a preloader is, it's going to have some type of animation when your page is loading. Now, sometimes that can be good or bad. If you have a person that has a really, really slow internet connection, uh, sometimes the, the preloader can, you know, drag it out a little bit. So I'm just going to disable it for now, but you can use that option as well. And then here you have the header. So it gives you a lot of flexibility uh, how to edit different parts of your, your site. So the header part, this is where you have to select the media. You can use the SVG um, format as well. You have the retina logo. You have the mobile logo. And if you want the header to be sticky so it stays up while people are scrolling down, and you have the favicon. So you can customize the header part um, right here, and you go next to the body. And you can be able to background repeat. gives you you know more options for how you want the body to be presented. So if you want it, let's say, the background to have a uh, horizontal uh, repeat you can set that here as well and you can go to the background size so they're pretty much utilizing the same system that they have with the page builder which gives you a lot of flexibility um, to customize things exactly how you want it to be and for attachments you can have fixed you can have scroll uh, you have the background you have the laptop and I'm gonna be going a lot more details so when the stable version of this is released I'm going to be going through more details and show you exactly how to, you know, tweak some of these here. Uh, and then you have the footer. You can change the, you want to show the copyright. So if you set to show, it's going to show it. If not, you can choose where position the footer shows in. And you have here the default uh, load position. And then, of course, this is where you can change, you know, the copyright stuff. Now, with the Helix 3, you go on the presets here. Let's kind of just kind of go back and forth here. So when you go on, let's go back to the basics. So the presets, which is right here, um, the Helix Ultimate, and then with the Helix 3, the presets, you notice here that is pretty much is similar to it. Uh, but this one now with the presets, it gives you the ability for you to change the header part of it, change the menu, and also change the footer. As where well was the Helix 3, you didn't have as much flexibility uh, in terms of doing that. So this gives you a lot more control over how each section of your website looks. 
So now let's take a quick look here at the layout builder. Um, pretty much like the you know uh, Helix 3 where you have the layout but this one is, looks like a little more streamlined so everything is right here you can kind of get an idea while you're working on your stuff so you can pretty much click on this little cog icon here to do some of the same edits and you can you know drag and drop and move things over and slide it over however you want it to be so this really gives you you know a lot more flexibility and also with the layout builder here you can choose now a little more options here so you go here you can choose uh, from each one and it shows you the number before it was a little bit different so let's say let's go back here to helix 3 when you look at the add columns so when you put your mouse over it you just see a bunch of different uh, options here but with the helix uh, helix ultimate which is utilizing bootstrap 4 when you put your mouse over this oops, when you put your mouse over the column here it actually gives you the number with this one you had to pretty much if you wanted to create like a custom one you had to uh, figure out how many is going to equal to 12 and things like that but with this one here uh, you put it right there and you can pretty much just choose the layout that you want so if I choose this now it's going to change it to that if I choose this it's going to change it to um to that so it gives you a lot of flexibility to move things over to drag you can move the body main body up top you can move the bottom to the very top here you can move the footer and you can rename these to call them whatever you want it to be so if you want to be a footer you can change that if you want to add a footer background you can put the color there you can put the media and things like that you know so I said before in the beginning of this video I'm gonna do a little more detail uh, video later on once the stable version is released of this because I get so many questions about you know this framework and other frameworks but so let's go over to the navigation you can choose your other main your menu you can choose the mega or the off canvas so if you have a site that you don't want to have the mega menu you want to utilize just a canvas or off ca canvas you can do that as well and the off canvas menu is just this little uh, icon right here that shows the off canvas items for this and let's go over to the typography so the typography you can pretty much customize your headings and this comes into play like when I'm using uh, page builder for example to create something there are a lot of times when you want a lot more flexibility in terms of how you want the particular font for all the headers to be. So for H1 tags, you can be able to enable this and you can be able to change it to customize it with the type of font that you want for it. So for example, like with H3, I want this to be a different font. I can choose that here, different weight. I can choose that. So what's going to happen is this is going to apply to all H3 tags on your website. So instead of you having to manually do each one, you just set it here and it's going to be the same way across the board. You can have custom fonts here. You can have um, update fonts uh, here as well. So let's go to custom code. Now this is where you put in your, your, your script in. So like your Google Analytic codes or you want to have some type of tracking stuff or your custom CSS for your templates, you can put that stuff in here. Uh, and then you go back here. Or let's go to the advanced. And you have just pretty much the basic settings here. Uh, the SCSS, the import expert. So if you're using the same template or you want to export or import a particular settings, you can do that here. And it's going to import those settings uh, from one template uh, to another. And kind of give a look and feel for it. So you have the blog options here. Now with the blogs here, you have more control too over the thumbnail size. Uh, let's go to Helix 3 and we're going to take a look at the blog options here. So you see it's pretty much similar. But with the Helix 4, you have the, the enable medium image. And you have this one here. You can do that. And you kind of scroll down for the blog list. You want a small thumbnail. So what this is pretty much done is you have the comments section here too. You can choose the type of common engine that you want to use. And with the social share, do you want to enable the social share? You can choose that as well. So what I see this being is I think that it's a really great step moving forward. You know, of course, there are a few things that they're still working on. And I just, I'm going to wait until the stable version of it is, you know, comes out. Uh, because there are times when you try to load a page and you're getting uh, a 4-4 and some type of error page and, you know, layout sometimes comes out a little bit distorted and I'm sure that that's because they're still you know still working on it but what I recommend is that you kind of you know just download it play around with it and see you know just, just kind of play around with it so you become more familiarized with this system because this is going to be the newer one that all their templates are going to be upgraded to 
So now let's go over to the menu system and we're going to take a look at the new mega menu that they've implemented. So I'm going to click on, I'm just going to choose this home here. So let's go over here to the Helix mega menu option. So this is the mega menu option for the Helix ultimate. And once again, they are utilizing this ad row and it gives you so much flexibility in terms of customizing how your menus are going to look. And this is really great because there are times when you want to, you know, add two columns, three, four, whatever that number is with this hair, you get to pick and choose how you want it to be laid out. And you can choose the alignment to the right. You can choose the width. You can choose to use it or you can choose to disable it. You want to show the title. And you can also use icons. Uh, you can choose the icon for a particular menu as well. So you go go down here. You can choose the icon for those. And you can also choose the menu icon here um, as well. So it'll just kind of show you uh, the module list uh, on this side here. So overall, the Helix uh, Ultimate, you know, uh, it's just coming out pretty good. You know, it looks very clean. I love how clean it is. Um, so once the next versions are being released, I'm going to update this video with a little bit more insight um, just so that you can kind of get a feel for how, you know, how it is and how to utilize it on, you know, your website. So thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, this is just a, you know, overview, just kind of give you like a demo and a feel for the Helix Ultimate. Uh, make sure to check out our website, Learn Joomla Fast. If you're looking to learn how to create websites without being a coder, you, we, you know, we do a lot of videos for different uh, extensions and uh, Joomship has some great extensions that will have, you know, videos that you can be able to learn step by step. So make sure to check out our website, learnjoomlafast.com and make sure to hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video. So anytime that I release a new video like this one, you're going to be the first person to get access to it.